Welcome everyone, this is our Friday Live where we feature different Music Medic products. Today we are gonna feature our Wilmington Tenor Saxophone for our third week of Sax Timber. Uh, the Wilmington Tenor Saxophone was de designed here in the Sax Pro Shop. Uh, holding it is our special guest and good friend, Benny Hill. Benny Hill's a professional saxophonist. He's also a college uh, professor at the Cape Fear Community College here in Wilmington, North Carolina, as well as a a uh, longtime uh, client at the Sax Pro Shop. The Wilmington Tenor, of course, as I said, was designed here. Ryan, who's working the cameras today, uh, there's his hand. Ryan uh, designed the engraving, so it's got some extensive engraving on the bell. It's got contacts for all of the side keys uh, to give a lot of stability to the horn. It comes with a nickel-plated bow and bell, as well as a nickel-plated neck along with the brass lacquered neck. Benny's going to do a little play testing for you today. He's going to play test the nickel plated neck first to give you the sound of that horn and then he's going to switch to the uh, the brass lacquered neck so you guys can do a little A-B testing and uh, well, Benny will get your thoughts too. So without further ado, uh, Benny, let's hear the, the nickel plated neck if you would right. be so kind. <laughs> How's it nice feel? Horn. Very nice horn. It, it, it feels great. It, it lays great under the fingers. Um, very nice feel to it. <clears throat> I like this neck. Um, I know I, I played it in the uh, sound check. And <clears throat> for me, um, I, I like the disc neck, but I think I like the the uh, the, uh, the brass, brass, lacquer, the brass neck. lacquer neck a little better. I'm going to put that on now and and see if you hear a difference. Okay, cool. And then while Benny's getting set up, we're also going to announce the winner of this week's uh, Sax Timber giveaway. So, uh, so we'll do that after uh, we try the super balanced action tenor, which I didn't even tell you about. This is like a bonus, bonus play test. <laughs> For yeah, me. yeah, it's definitely, it sounds a little more centered, you know, uh, tone-wise, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it, and it's, it's personal. I know we talked earlier, and, and you mentioned, for you, you, you prefer the, uh, the nickel-plated neck. That is and so, true. it just depends on the player and, yeah. and the, you know, the instrument. And so, um, but I, they both feel great to me. Um, it's just, uh, for me, if I had a preference, if I, when, when I got the horn, I would probably play the uh the brass net very cool cool yeah. well benny why don't you switch to the 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 sba and try it with the uh the stock neck we'll okay. we'll, and we'll finish up the video playing the wilmington tenor so we have another uh saxophone here that we're kind of finishing up the overhaul with uh it's uh, it's in a selmer super balance action and we have the stock neck but we also created a second neck for it as part of a project that i'm doing with uh our owner kurt and I have a Mark VI that had had a, a warble on low E, and it had some response issues. And so uh, we kind of, over the last year, created a neck for that. Um, and so we're going to get to hear what 
you know, an offshoot of that project because I now have a saxophone that plays great and I'm never going to go back to my original neck. Uh, and so we got, you know, we created a, uh, a neck that's kind of similar to my horn um, or similar that's going to work for this horn, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's hear this. This is the super balanced action uh, tenor with the stock neck. And this is horn that uh, Ryan did some re-engraving on. We kind of left the refinished. Uh, it had a decent uh, relacquer job done back in the day. And this horn has a lot of history with us at the shop. So we're probably going to do a separate video on just kind of the history of this neck. Uh, not the neck, the horn and uh, the previous owner. But without further ado, let's hear this SBA with the stock neck. <laughs> This one as well. <laughs> it, it has a totally different feel than the Wilmington, but um, of course, it's, you know it's a vintage for the horn. But it it it, 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 lay, it still lays great. Um, cool. It feels good <clears throat> under the fingers. Um, <clears throat> now I played this neck um, in the sound check as well, and kind of similar situation for me. Um, I kind of preferred the neck that. Music Medic came up with. Okay. Here, so I'll see if, if, you, if you hear a difference. If you guys out there hear a difference. Yeah. Nice man. Now yeah. I I can hear a difference. It's very. It's kind of very. It's a lot. It seems to be more clear. Yeah, or, it's a lot more clear. You know. It's more focused for me. Um, it just it speaks easier for me. Yeah. Now for someone else, they may prefer the vintage neck. It's just all personal. I, I like the music medic neck better too. Yeah, yeah I, I went and took this this horn on a gig and went it just was like okay with my setup and read combination and with the volume of the band and had the stock neck on and i was already kind of familiar with this the r neck um but then i ended up popping the the aftermarket neck on yeah. too so and we're going to do a separate video on this horn uh just kind of go in the history of it and we'll talk a little bit more of the necks that we're developing here for for tenor saxophone um while benny's getting the wilmington uh, tenor ready again for to close up the video. I want to announce the winner of this week's giveaway for the hashtag Saxtember. Uh, this is uh, just to be, uh, if you want to, just to back up, if you want to get in on these giveaways, take the hashtag Saxtember and put it in the comments below. And every week we're doing a drawing for a set of keys, uh, custom key risers or some other sort of prize. Um, but for this third week of Saxtember, we're going to give away another uh, set of key risers. And the winner for today is Denley April. Uh, Denley, get up with us. Yeah. Get up with us. Uh, send me uh, an email to rich at musicmedic.com, and I'll get you set up with a, a set of custom key risers. And for those of you who want to get in on the drawing, 
uh, next week. Uh, next Wednesday, Ryan and I are going to be back with our Wednesday Wisdom and doing a video on setting up the left-hand table of a soprano with the air torch. So if you want to enter that drawing, whether you watch this video live or you watch it at a later time, just put the hashtag SaxHember in the comments and uh, we'll get you entered into the drawing. Uh, we're also doing a couple of videos on uh, video classes on October 7th and October 8th. O October 7th is going to be with Ryan, and he's going to do a uh, saxophone modifications uh, class day course. And then on the 8th, it's going to be uh, flute padding with Scott Mandible. And uh, both of those uh, courses you can sign up for at musicmedic.com. So happy September, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We're going to close with the uh, Wilmington tenor saxophone on the the brass lacquered neck that benny likes so much and uh until next time uh happy sax timber <laughs>